Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla. You can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Alpine Stars missile race suit available at Revzilla.com. This is the missile. I'm losing my mind. New for the fall of 17, this is the suit from Alpine Stars coming in at around the $1,000 mark that may win everything forever. The Challenger suit, the Mategi suit, the GP Pro suit. Why do they exist? Because now we have the missile. And let me explain to you why I'm freaking out. The missile is Tech Air race vest compatible, so you can use the Tech Air bag system in it. It has DFSs at the shoulder, at the elbow, that is replaceable, as well as at the knee. Full BTAC armor complement. This is a CE rated suit through and through, with straps at the wrist and straps at the ankle. Fully removable internal liner, great big perforation scheme, and it comes in four colors. But I'm going to remind you, the Challenger is $100 less. It has dramatically less features. The Mategi is the same price. It does not take the Tech Air race system or have the updated sliders. The GP Pro is in the $1,300 plus dollar mark and is kind of similar. This has a tremendous accordion stretch scheme. It is using the new Nucleon KRHR hip armor, which is molecular, and again, I cannot pick it apart. I am looking at it and saying, if you are looking for an A-star suit to get to the track, which takes the best of race DNA protection and functionality with a hardcore race fit, if you like the way High Vis Brian looks in it, I don't know why you'd buy another suit. So Alpine Stars, if you're listening out of Italy, high five, suit for dollar. This blows a lot of things away in your suit lineup. And I actually look at it and say, the differentiation as we go up the food chain really becomes the Atom V3, which has a little bit more stretch. And then the GP Tech V2, which is the Marquez suit that's kangaroo. Outside of that, I don't know why you need any other suits. And Alpine Stars, I really hope that you're making a ladies version of this and you need a kids version because this could be the suit to end the debate outside of pro-level racers of just the one to buy. This is ultimately really caught us off guard and we really applaud what you've done within this category. Now, quick note on fitment. Have his Brian, six foot 195, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size 52. Remember, take a deep breath when you take your chest measurement because he has his tech air race vest integrated and it all fits. And that comes with the CE level two back protector as well. We're we'll use the size chart. We'll ship free over 39 bucks. And you can actually see the amount of stretch on this. This is a race fit suit. He's standing straight up and down. He's not that uncomfortable. So again, they've gotten more flexible, but this suit is designed to be in the hardcore tuck position. This is not a sport suit. This is not a big guy or relaxed suit. This is an athletic suit. Now you can call us if you want to work through the nuance or the sizing, but most importantly, Click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Leave us your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new missile suit. There's also a missile jacket, which takes the same DNA, comes in around the $600 mark, and takes that Tech Air race vest compatibility. Now, let's work through the nuance here. Up towards the top, Trico 3D mesh liner at the collar. It's a nice touch. Remember, lots of aromatic stretch panel, which is reinforced for stretch, for airflow. Big areas of perf, it's not localized perf. Again, you get that as you go into the higher end. I am not complaining, but again, big areas of perf as you work your way down. All of this stretch will flow air. All of this stretch down around the yoke of the crotch and into the legs will flow air. It also allows for range of motion. BTAC armor behind these hard shoulder DFS. These are race sliders on each shoulder. They also happen to be pretty badass. If we look at it, light areas of stretch, moving down into the forearms and ultimately into the wrist. These are quite simplified. This is an auto-locking zipper. Open it up. There's our CE-rated strap, and this is a full removable sanitized liner. So you want to be able to pull that liner out and wash it when it gets gunkified and sweatified for a day of 120 or 130 degrees on the tarmac. Now, if we look at it, very basic. I like that they went subdued with some of the temper phones. Sometimes it gets a little ninja turtley. If we move our way down, accordion stretch across the top of the knee, DFS slider at the knee. You'll notice it doesn't have the dual durometer insert on the front that would be a grip panel. Again, things you get when you go up the food chain, but in my opinion, not deal breakers. BTAC armor at the knee all the way down the shin, and you have a replaceable race puck on these guys as well. And remember, we talked about the KRHR Nucleon molecular armor in the hips. Hive is Brian, turn face away from me. If we look at the side of this race suit, massive accordion starting at the top of your trap all the way down under the arm, all the way down. That is to accommodate the inflation of the Tech Air race vest, which you can buy and add to this for about $1,000. It is rechargeable with its air canisters. The Tech Air Race Vest has two settings, street mode. It also has race mode. It deploys 
collarbone, back, shoulder, kidney, and rib protection in 45 milliseconds, and it has three accelerometers and a gyro that understand when a crash is happening, high side or low side, and allow you to be protected when you hit the tarmac. Again, that is a big step forward from Alpine Stars. For 2017-18, we're seeing Tech Air Race and Tech Air Street Vests come to the US market for the first time. They've been in Europe since 2014. Now, if we move our way down, remember, accordion, Areas of temper foam, accordion on the back of the elbow, replaceable DFS. This is not replaceable, it's a hard part. This is a different durometer hard part slider that ultimately you will wear down over time. You can replace it. And you do have that BTEC elbow all the way down to forearm armor, down in towards the wrist. If he lifts his arm up, you're gonna see that accordion stretch, see where it integrates with the back, big yoke across the back, and moving down to the side of the knee. You can see where the accordion starts and stops on the lateral side of the knee. And on the back side of the calf, you can see, again, aromatic stretch panel for flex, for breathability, and for lightweight. You can also see on in the back of his right, or back of his left calf there where my finger is, there's also an expansion panel. So again, if you have big, beefy, burly guy calves, you have the ability to get a little additional circumference, but the in and out of this calf is actually gonna run down the medial side. Turn backwards for me there, HVB. If we look at the back, Big aromatic stretch panel along the top of the back. Again, flow a little bit of air. It's a sport hump, not a race hump. That could be one of my few gripes about this. The sport hump gives it the flexibility. In Europe, they wear these on the street all the time. It's not that big burly race hump, but ultimately because this suit is gonna play so high in the food chain from Alpine Stars and serve so many track day and racers in the US, a sport hump or a race hump might be the next logical place to take it. If we work our way down, little bit of exhaust venting down here with this temper foam, you're going to see that yoke stretch at the top. Notice our CE tag, it's a full CE rated suit. Dual, re dual reinforced leather at the seat. You have temper phone around the collar, collar or around the tailbone rather. And as you work your way down towards the boots, again, you see how everything integrates. It is low profile. Come back around to the front for me there, Briz. Let's open it up. If we open this guy up, you're going to see the collar. There's that Trico 3D mesh collar, which I like, which is an iteration off of previous versions. And you also see a few things going on here. This is our Tech Air Street vest. It's integrated. It does not come with this suit. I'm going to unzip one side and show you. That is integrated in. He has it on top of an Alpine Stars race undersuit. But again, remember, on the inside of this, you have that zipper right there to fully allow you to remove the race undersuit. And again, you can even put your credentials there, different things, even your blood type, if you want to give it to him if you happen to be knocked out cold on the track. But again, show me the left forearm. This is your Tech Air integration. Remember, this suit connects to the Tech Air vest, and it actually lights up to show you that it's armed. So again, you are getting the best of most of the DNA from the high-end suits and Alpine Stars. You're getting the Tech Air race vest pre-integration that you can purchase separately and future-proof the ability to get that inflatability on the track to really save you. I'm ranting, I'm raving, I'm moving fast. I have very few gripes. Alpine Stars, the boys in Italy in Oslo, one of my favorite places on the planet to visit. It's beautiful there. And hot damn, they make great suits. And from a protection, value, style, and technology for dollars standpoint, all right, Dionese, let's see what you come up with because they've kind of set a pretty high watermark bar with this. The next step in your journey is to click the info button, desktop, mobile device, visit the product detail page at revzilla.com, read other rider reviews. You should not just take my rant at face value. Go do the research, see what other folks are saying about the new missile race suit. Remember, there's a missile leather jacket. As always, we'll ship free over 38 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detail breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla, at our YouTube channel. Stay with our opinion of the latest and greatest in the Moto Universe. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.